Hi everyone, this is Mozul Fagari, um, Research Manager and IoT Architect in Applied Research in BT, and I'm going to talk about value-added services for Industry 4.0 or VASI 4. And VASI 4 is a pipeline of innovation uh, that we built in BT Island Innovation Center or BTEC and Applied Research in Astro Park in BT. And it has won a number of international and national awards. Gartner reports by 2025, there will be 65% increase in the edge compute usage by enterprise and the CSP revenue from IoT connectivity will be reduced to almost half. And, and as a strategic move, we started to build value added services for 5G enabled edge computes on top of our connectivity services. And the good example here is industrial IoT and industry 6.0 for the smart factories. 80% of manufacturers believe that industry 4.0 will be reality by 2025. And uh, we have estimate of 455 billion market share for the UK. So you cannot find any factory, small to big, that couldn't get benefit of one of these 18 use cases remote monitoring, OEE and condition monitoring, robotic process automation, AR and uh, VR and digital twin and all of those use cases you could see help us actually to improve the accuracy and efficiency and gain competitive ad advantages uh, through data integrity and compliance with, uh, with the regulation. So what you can see here is that how we have done it. So at the bottom, you can see we have network as a service. BT offers uh, IoT networks, private networks, public um, converged networks, hybrid networks to its global customers. And on top, we offered platform as a services and security as a service uh, on top of this connectivity and we call them VASI4 capabilities. And we have digital business marketplace to digitize and abstract all of these capabilities on top of the network offering and provide it to our customers to enable them to use industry 4.0 AI 5G edge compute through different verticals, including a smart city, a smart manufacturing, a smart health or a smart X scenarios. We're going to talk about these value added services in a little bit more details. So we talked to our customers and we found out there are six unmet customer needs. The very first one is that they wanted to actually onboard bootstrap and manage the devices at a scale and securely. So we invented zero touch onboarding or ZTO to address this need. And then we created intent-based micro-segmentation and self-healing network on top where we can identify and mitigate security threats automatically when this, these devices actually get uh, ordered and provisioned automatically. When we have the security of these networks and the devices, we start to take care of the in-life manage, device management of these, de uh, these devices for throughout all the life cycle. And then we're, we're taking care of the data. So, and then we started to protect the personal and commercial sensitive data through the federated and in, uh, federated data encryption, anonymization and re-identification using blockchain and DLT. And finally, we created elastic auto SLA engines where you can monitor, control and enforce the SLAs for your data. All of these services are available on a platform, we call it Matrix. Matrix provides an IoT platform on edge or cloud and can offer all of these uh, other 10 services on the edge or on the cloud for the customers. Now let's talk through few use cases to investigate few of these services a little bit more in detail. So smart factories want to optimize and save costs by automation. Automation means advancing IT and OT systems. The main problem is the convergence of IT and OT. 
and downtime here means losing pounds per minute. The very first service is about secure onboarding, bootstrapping, and management of devices at scale. What if when you order these edge computes for your different um, lines of uh, manufacturing and, and, and for your network edge, you can secure them down to the chip level and you can uh, verify and attest them down to the chip. That brings the added value secu security layer and also reduce the cost because you can then bootstrap and build these devices with software stack applications and sd wan capabilities all automatically. So these edge compute devices are onboarded to the cloud. We call it edge to cloud ZTO. And the peripheral devices like cameras, the conveyor belts, the drones, the robotic arms are connecting to these edge compute devices locally. We call it device to edge. So we have chain of trust, chain of ownership, and chain of twins. The next one is intent-based micro segmentation, which is used in the self-healing network service. So assume that for these edge compute devices, you have a system that can monitor these devices, including the edge device, the northbound connection, the southbound connection uh, with the IoT networks, and also it can generate and create virtual lands which protects these devices in diff with different policies, with different automated policies. We call it different zones, security zones. If one of the, these devices starts attacking to the other device or outside of the premises, then it gets um, quarantined. We try actually to cure it. We test it into the Amber network and we bring it back to the normal life all automatically and uh, securely. So that's why we call these services self-healing network. The last service I'm going to talk about is about protection of personal commercial sensitive data. So assume that you're in a factory line and then you have a normal CCTV camera which can view the users using a sensitive data and uh, you want to make sure the user is equipped with personal protective uh, equipment or PPE. So the problem is that you usually need to use the cloud services for this feature. So you need to actually send these images outside of the premises. So you may leak the commercial sensitive data outside of your factory and also it's not GDPR compliance. So what we do here is that we get the image and frame and each frame we de-identify and anonymize these pictures and the, and the faces. And then we take these faces one by one, we encrypt them uh, separately from device to cloud. And then we use uh, a DLT to actually keep these keys. And also we used uh, a private or public cloud with end-to-end -end encryption to store these encrypted uh, faces. Then we can send the anonymized frame into third-party services and, and analyze them. And then you can have an application. In this application, you can find out, um, you can actually get these uh, anonymized frames and then uh, you, you can get the only the face for the person who's using working with this data and with the blockchain or DLT, you can actually uh, get the key to um, re-identify this person. And from this third party, you can only get the alerts and anomaly detection. So you can actually have, you can aggregate everything together on top of each other and you can have everything in one place. The final part here is that these services that we mentioned is not only applicable for smart manufacturing, is they are all applicable for different smart X scenarios and verticals like health, connected living platform, drone services, smart cities, and agri -techs. Thanks a lot.